Good evening and welcome to St Thomas's as we join together for evening prayer. My name's Ellie and I'm one of the worship leaders here at St Thomas. It's great to have you join us this evening and I hope this time is a blessing to you. For those who've not joined us before, we start with an opening time of quiet, followed by a reading, a thought of the day, and then we end with some prayer. So to start, we'll have our opening time of quiet and Deuteronomy 33 verse 27. The eternal God is your refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. So now we shall have a short pause to reflect on the day that's passed. You might find it helpful to think of your whole day and reflect on the whole thing. Or like me, you might find it easier just to reflect on three positives from the day. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Today's reading is 1 Timothy, chapter 4, verses 15 and 16. Be diligent in these matters. Give yourself wholly to them, so that everyone may see your progress. Watch your life and doctrine closely. Persevere in them, because if you do, you will save both yourself and your hearers. The theme of this week's evening prayers has been church as disciples. And in 1 Timothy 4, we see instructions to Timothy on how to carry out his discipleship from his mentor, Paul. Instructions, which we can all learn from, 
to be better disciples. In 1 Timothy 4, we are told that Timothy has a gift and his gift is for public reading of scripture, preaching and teaching. And I'd like to focus on Paul's instruction concerning Timothy's gifts. Paul instructs Timothy to not neglect his gift and to give himself wholly to it. And Paul says the result of this will, that, will be that Timothy saves himself and his hearers. Paul is saying here that the result of giving ourselves wholly to our gifts is will we, we will save ourselves and others. Paul's instruction is something we can use to express ourselves as disciples of God. We aren't all like Timothy, of course, gifted at reading, teaching and preaching. But it is easy to neglect what we are gifted at. One way we might do this is we do something that's not our gift because that's what we want to do. And we neglect our gift not giving ourselves wholly to it, which could prevent ourselves and someone else being saved. Learning our giftings, listening to God about what he is calling us to do so that we can commit ourselves wholly to our gifts is a way of expressing our discipleship and responding in obedience to God to what God is calling of us. These gifts we have, which Paul talks about, aren't just things we're good at. They are spiritual gifts from God. Timothy's gifts are part of his calling to be an apostle and God has given us all gifts. To find our own gifts, we must pray. We must ask God what gifts he has given us. So I'm going to give a little bit of quiet now, some time to ask God about our own gifts. If you can, write them down so you can come back to them in prayer and not neglect them. And it's good to take time more than just now to ask God about our gifts. I also ask that if, all, if at all you would like to explore your discipleship and faith, please contact us using the contact details in the description. So now we're going to have a short time of quiet to pray to God and to ask him about our gifts.
Let us pray. Father God, we bring to you our gifts. Help us to not neglect them, to give ourselves wholly to them, wholly to doing your bidding, Lord, so that we can be your disciples, Lord, and be saved by you and lead others to be saved by you, Lord. Amen. Merciful God, we entrust to your unfailing and tender care this night those who are ill or in pain, knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold us safe, comfort and heal them, and restore them to health and strength. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Father God, thank you for your creation, this wonderful world that you have created, which provides what we need. We are sorry for the wrong humankind has done to this beautiful creation. So Lord, please help us, lead us to be better stewards of your creation. Amen. Lord, we thank you for your church, the people of the church across the world. We are sorry for the divisions between us and we pray that you bring us together. together. Fill us with your spirit, Lord. Help us to love each other. Bind us together, Lord. Amen.
Father God. We thank you for countries across this world where all people have basic human rights. We are sorry, Lord, for those of us who prevent people from exercising their human rights. Help us, Lord, to be your hands across this world, to bring human rights to all people. Hold us, Lord, in your arms and bring wisdom, morality and safety, security across this world. Amen. We pray for our country, Lord. We pray that you bring wisdom to our leaders. We thank you for the NHS, for our emergency services, for all who work tirelessly, particularly in this time. Help our government to do what is best for the people who live here. We pray for those places whose alert levels have risen and whose response chair tier has changed. We hope that the new measures, we pray and we hope that the new measures help tackle the rising numbers of coronavirus. Amen. We pray for the parish of St. Thomas Beckentry. We pray that our church can be a beacon of light in these strange and harsh, harsh times, that we can love our neighbours in our community and share your good news. We thank you, Lord, for the work you have been doing in our parish, bringing people closer together. We thank you that we have been able to touch people with these online services to help people that we may not have met before, may not have prayed with before. We pray that at this time we can help others to hear you and explore their faith and their discipleship. Amen. Father God, we pray for all Lord people at this time. We pray for ordinary people who are struggling and we pray for the ordinary people who are helping those who are struggling. We thank you for them, Lord. And we hope that we can help more people, Lord. We pray for safety. We pray for security. We pray for love and we pray for wisdom. Hold us all in your arms, Lord. Whether we are struggling at this time or we are one of the people helping those who are struggling most. Amen. And so we bring our prayers together and lift them to you, Lord, with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Amen. Thank you for joining us in evening prayer this evening. I really hope this time has been a blessing to you and I urge you to continue praying about your gifts. If you need any help exploring your faith and discipleship, please contact us. The details are in the description. If you'd like to support the work of St Thomas Bethany, you can use the link in the description to do this. And you can feel free to continue to comment on the video and post your prayer requests. So to conclude, in peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly upon us and give us peace. Amen.